The Mayfair Tennis Ball Exchange is a new work by David Shrigley. The audience can interact with the exhibit, take a new tennis ball and replace it with an old worn down one. Artist Alice Lenkovitz discusses the ideas behind the piece. It's back to the idea of assemblage and the Dada movement, which is basically taking mundane objects and calling them art, and allowing the public to participate in this assemblage is um, interesting as well. And I like the idea that the colours of the tennis balls are sort of changing and that they've all kind of taken on this new identity. And, and I think there's a sort of personal, humorous aspect to it as well. On top of blurring the boundaries between the artist and the public, culture writer at The Guardian, Tim Jones, identifies themes of consumption and use. He says it's about trade and exchange, um, but I think it's probably about sort of death and decay as well, because as soon as I saw a few tennis balls going in, they just look so mucky compared to the, um, and over time it's just gonna grow, it's just gonna get like diseased and turn into this sort of brownie green wall of, yeah, mucky balls. Are all these ideas really underlying a bunch of tattered tennis balls? Or are the experts just reading too much into it? But arts critic Tabish Khan defends conceptual art. Conceptual art has a very much history of provoking ideas and provoking thought. And I know that sometimes it gets poo-pooed and that I think that's the idea, it provokes a reaction, whether that's you laugh at it, whether you, you're challenged by it, whether you hate it or love it. I think that's what conceptual art is there to do. It's a provocateur, you know, it's here to make you think, is everyone gonna like it? Probably not for the vast majority of artworks, but that's okay. You know, that's, isn't, everyone isn't supposed to like it. It's supposed to, as long as it makes you feel or think something, then it's doing its job. Art galleries can seem like serious exclusive spaces, but artists such as David Shrigley have the freedom to deconstruct this space and have some fun with their work.